Hello, this is Duncan Paul, and this is a tutorial booklet 10 Intermediate, and we're going to be doing conveyors using Flexim 2020. We're going to do a create a source, quite a long conveyor, uh, and then we're going to have a process of, and then two queues. Um, and we're going to introduce two curves to the uh, conveyor. Uh, and as you can see, uh, we're used to the idea of a, uh, a conveyor having a curve at the end, but we're introducing one in the middle. And what that then means is we're going to have to do, introduce these uh, decision points. Uh, it's very important that when you're dragging these decision points on, that you do not connect them to these end squares, these little points here. So just be careful of that. Uh, and then uh, what we do is within uh, the original decision point, we ask it to uh, to send destination based on the case. So if it's a, a flow item one, go to um, this the next decision point, uh, which might be number two, and then number three, because number one will be at the beginning. Okay, so it's not a particularly uh, difficult to model, uh, but it is uh, quite a common one used, um, particularly in places like Coca-Cola, Wakefield, where they have quite complex um, conveyor systems and stuff. So, um, okay, so let's move over to Flexim. Okay, we're in Flexim now. Let's change to minutes and say okay, and let's create a source. Two queues up here, roughly. Um, a bit further away there, maybe, I don't know. And a processor. So we're going to have a little processor in between here and the queue. So some objects are going to come down the conveyor and some are going to go off process before they go to, into the queue and the uh, end of the conveyor will just have a straight, go straight into the uh, uh, the queue. Uh, let's get a straight conveyor. Um, we want this length of this conveyor to go past here, so let's just uh, drag it along. There we go, just a little bit past uh, this processor because we're going to add a curve in here and then a curve there. And uh, let's add a curve, a small curve, probably a diameter of two will be best. There we go. Let's get a little bit closer so we can see things. Let's snap that on there. And you can see the little uh, square appear there so it looks as though it's worked. Uh, let's just move that a little bit nearer. Let's create another curve and change it to damn it, radius two, sorry. Move it in there, come on. Now let's put it there. And it's got another connection point there. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's change the uh, the source uh, to have a uh, an interval time of exponential three, so I'm just going to be a bit lazy and change it there. And let's go to triggers and on creation. And uh, we just want two um, two flow items. So let's just change the uh, set label and color. Remember, if you're in an older an, an older version of uh, Flexim, it might say item type and color. So I'm just going to create two, and they're going to have a label called type, and they're going to be different colors. Okay. And let's change uh, the conveyor speed. So double click on the conveyor, click on these three dots here, and change it from 60 meters. So let's change it right down, because we kind of like to see things moving along. And apply. Let's use an A key to connect things up. A little small curve to the processor, the processor to the queue, 
and this one here. Okay. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a little because what I want to make sure is that I put these decision points not on these little squares. So uh, let's move, go down and uh, here's a decision point. So I just want it just short of there. And I want another one just short of the end. And the same with this one as well. So it's, where's the uh, decision point just here. Okay. And let's go back to the first decision point. Uh, you should, if I click on it, you can see it's called deep decision point one, decision point two, and decision point three will be the last one. So if we get to decision point one, click on it. Okay, on decision point one, what we want to do is uh, on when an object arrives, we want to. Um, Click on here and send uh, send the uh, item type by case. Seven. So we know that we've got the. Uh, this is DP one, and we know DP two and DP three are the uh, ends. So um, so, if it, so we know we've got two. So we need to add a second. So if it's case one, go there, and we could use default because if it's not, sorry, if it's not Kate, if it's not an item type one, we want it to, go, uh, it must be an item type two, but uh, you can always do, do, do it like that. Um, I am gonna just move it out of the way so, and just move these so we can see them both. I might see if we can use the click button. Yep, so we can click on there and and then get the next one. So make sure you select in the decision points. So if it's an, a flow item, a box item type number one, because you're getting its I type uh, from this word here. If it's number one, then go and find DP2. If it's uh, a type two, go and find DP3. Okay, now let's just say okay, apply, okay. And just zoom out a little bit. Uh, reset and run. Speed this little model up a little bit. So let's just stop that. So that is an item type one. So we made the decision. It's come down there. And it's, uh, so green ones go in there and so forth. So it goes okay until, you know, we get this problem. It's, you know, this is might start interfering if it gets a little bit worse. And uh, very close. Does it eventually? Maybe it does. Yes, it does. It's starting to block. Uh, but basically, all the decision points are based around uh, the, uh, the DP uh, 2 and 3 and uh, item types. So it's uh, quite a nice example. And uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully it's been uh, useful to you. Thanks a lot for listening.